Hey guys, I'm back and I'm sorry it's been so long since my last video. I've actually been working on a TV show that I've been hosting and that has wrapped, it got very busy. I'm back to YouTube and I hope this is a helpful video if you're one of the very lucky people taking off on any sort of summer travel because this is how to take care of your skin on a flight. First thing is before you even get on the plane, you have to make sure you have all of the right products in the right size containers. I like to decant products into these tiny little travel size containers. You can get these anywhere, the dollar store, Target, Muji makes some really nice ones. For me personally, I get six of these in a pack for $1 from my local dollar store. I think it's great and then I can use products that I use every day so my skin is already used to them um, and you can decant them and take them with you so it's pretty efficient. This is something else that I like to get from the dollar store. It was $2.50. These are squeezy little bottles, so they don't have the hard sides of the other ones, but I wanted to give these a shout out because I think they're really helpful, especially if you're taking um, larger creams. Uh, these are 60 ml each, so check your dollar store for those. Of course, if you don't feel like decanting your products into something smaller, you can just buy mini travel sizes or I love to use the little samples you get at Sephora or the drugstore of new products because it's usually just meant for one use only and that's perfect for one flight. When you get on the flight, the first thing you're gonna wanna do is remove your makeup. Often, honestly, I don't even wear makeup because it's kind of annoying to take off. So if you wanna skip this step, just skip the makeup. But if you are wearing makeup, it's a good idea to remove it right away. But before you take your makeup off, you're going to want to sanitize your hands because airports, planes, there's a lot of germs, so you don't wanna touch your face before you give it a little spray. So this is uh, by The Honest Company, and I personally like sprays much more than the gels. I don't know why I find the gels are really sticky and kind of have the reverse effect that I'm going for. So I personally like the sprays. Dr. Bronner's also makes a really good one in lavender that I like. The easiest thing to take your makeup off might be a makeup wipe. Cetaphil makes some that are better for sensitive skin, but I try to really avoid using wipes as much as possible, including flights. So I will try to take a little bottle of this product, which is my favorite, the Bioderma. You might've seen it in some of my videos before. Um, this will take off everything but waterproof makeup. So all my mascara, all of my face makeup is fantastic. And for that, I like to use these cotton pads. These are my absolute favorite. I know it's weird to be picky about cotton pads, but I am. Um, these are organic cotton and they're just really soft on your skin. I don't find them abrasive at all. So if you're in the same boat, then highly recommend these. As soon as your makeup is off, the next step is to try and lock as much moisture into your skin as possible because the airplane will be trying to suck it all out for the rest of the flight. So I like to put on a mask at the beginning of the flight and then after I take it off, put on some other products to kind of seal in the moisture. So there are a couple of options for masks. The most embarrassing slash hilarious one, if you'd like to have some fun with everyone on your flight, um, are the Asian sheet masks that I have talked about a lot before. These are the Rose Brightening Aroma Masks by um, My Beauty Diary. I really like this brand. You will probably scare everyone around you, but if you'd like to sit alone on the flight, this might be a good way to do that. <laughs> If you can stomach looking completely nuts on the airplane, then I would highly recommend this. If you don't feel like using a sheet mask, then any serum with a heavy moisturizer over top will do, or an oil. So put a serum on, give it a couple of minutes to soak in, and then I like to follow up with this Origins Drink Up Intensive Overnight Mask. It smells like a basket of peaches. It's so good. Um, and this will just lock in the serum that you've just put on. Don't be afraid to put a lot on because the air in the plane is really gonna try to suck out the moisture from your skin. If you'd prefer not to use the serum moisturizer kind of combination, then I really like oils as well. My favorite is rosehip oil, and this is by Pi. It's the rosehip bioregenerate oil. It's my favorite, really do good quality. Um, and so after you put on whatever mask you're using, take it off, uh, follow up with this, and this will not budge on the flight. It's going to plump your skin, and you're gonna feel not that tightness that you sometimes get on airplanes. When you moisturize your face, you do not want to forget the really delicate skin around your eyes because that is going to dry out the quickest and also show the most. Uh, so definitely bring an eye gel or an eye cream. My personal favorite is by La Roche-Posay. This is kind of a gel formula, which I like, especially for airplanes. I find it just soaks in a lot quicker and it kind of locks in all of the moisture. Just pat it in with your ring finger like normal. Of course, you don't want to forget about your cuticles, your lips, your hands. They get really dry as well. And I have two favorites uh, to 
bring on the plane with me to make sure that they don't get dried out. The first is the Elizabeth Arden 8 hour cream. This smells really good and it's an all purpose cream. You can reapply it as much as you want throughout the flight. My other favorite is Paw Paw. This is a staple. If you've been to Australia, you know it's really, really popular there. That's where I first discovered it. Um, it's fermented papaya, basically. Cannot beat this smell. It's all natural and it's perfect. You can put it anywhere you're getting extremely dry. You can put it all over your hands, on your lips, and on your cuticles. It's also really important to remember to hydrate from the inside out. So before the flight, you'll want to drink as much water as you can and avoid um, diuretics like coffee, anything with caffeine really, or alcohol because that's really drying on your skin. And it's already harder on your skin on the plane, so personally I just try to avoid those things before and during the flight. Um, you'll want to have a lot of water. Oh yeah, it's also a really good idea to exfoliate as soon as possible after you get off the flight because when your skin dries out, the cells tend to sit on the surface of your skin and that can cause zits and to look kind of dull and no one wants to have dull skin. So to brighten it, you want to use some sort of exfoliator. I don't personally like using physical exfoliators that have those little beads, they're really tough on sensitive skin. I like a chemical exfoliator, so that would be something like this that has AHA in it. That is really going to help your skin stay stable after the flight. It's also really important to get as much rest as possible on the flight, so I try to pack things that will make that as easy as possible. Earplugs are important, and I'm actually pretty picky about earplugs. I don't like the plastic ones that stick out of your ear. They're not comfortable for sleeping. I don't like the ones that are super soft because they don't fit in your ear canal properly, at least mine for some reason. Um, I like these foam ones. You can get at any drugstore, but get the hard kind because they're easier to get in and then they expand and they don't fall out. It can also get really cold on airplanes, so it's really important to have something warm and cozy that you can use. The plain blankets I find are often too small or <laughs> too thin or something, so I like to pack my own. Um, something that's multi-purpose depending on what the type of trip is that you're going on. This is from Aritzia. It's a absolutely gigantic square scarf so it's perfect to bring to wear as a scarf for the rest of the trip or also just to wear as a blanket it's really really soft and cozy that's so important to kind of make a little cocoon for yourself on the plane just bring something that makes you feel calm and is gonna cover you and make sure that you stay warm and cozy also important for getting some sleep on a plane is covering your eyes. So for me, that means a sleep mask. This one is completely ridiculous. I'm gonna show you what it looks like. <laughs> okay, hold on. Okay. So if the sheet mask didn't scare people off from sitting around you, then by the time you put yourself to sleep wearing this thing, you'll have the whole row to yourself because this looks so weird. I have frightened people so many times. If you're really self-conscious, then it does have black on the side so you can turn it around. But honestly, just like let your crazy out. Why not? I hope you like watching this video and that some of these tips and tricks will be helpful the next time you get on an airplane and that you're going somewhere exciting, that you're having a great summer. Uh, please subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you in my next video. If your mascara is better than your sex, <laughs> does it make sense? If your mascara is better than sex, it sounds like there's a problem.